Hi, I'm Dave Filer from uh, Philco Farm and Sport, uh, Sunny Nelson, which is at the top of the South Island in New Zealand. Uh, we've been a Yamaha dealer for 26 years now, since I started the dealership. Uh, my role as dealer principal, uh, I believe, is in um, future planning and future investment. So we've grown the company from uh, one person when I started, which was me, uh, to now we have 17 full-time staff, 10 involved with our service department. And uh, training, being here uh, at the training today is uh, just totally invaluable for me. We see training as the number one investment for our team and uh, for our customers, uh, who is our boss at the end of the day. So for me to be here with Jeremy, who uh, is qualified twice before, this is the third visit he's had here, uh, we see as a, or well I see as a huge honour um, because of uh, our involvement with Yamaha for such a long period of time. Uh, we are the only uh, Yamaha Platinum dealer in New Zealand um, and we hold that uh, very high uh, on our ranking and we believe that because the Platinum dealership is all about service uh, and service to the customer, there's dozens and dozens of things that you've got to qualify to be a platinum dealer. Um, it's not just, hey, sell the most bikes, because that's not always the case. It's right from service department, uh, especially service, parts, supply, all those things. Uh, sales is, a, is part of it, but it is only about 20% of it. So to me, it's um, the recognition uh, by our customers, because it's on customer surveys and, and also on uh, the likes of Phil Winter who visits us and, and the Yamaha representatives that visit us and mark us uh, continuously on it. The more training you have, the better the customer service is, the better the value the customer has in your brand, Yamaha. And, and we see Yamaha as our number one brand. Um, and to share that with your customers and hear their stories um, that I get back about our team members and what we do. and. Uh, it, it really enhances your belief in it, which is why uh, I'm still here 26 years later. Um, and my accountant quite proudly points out to me on the on the four visits a year we have, we have four serious meetings a year. He tells me he doesn't reckon I work a day in my life. He says, I, you haven't worked a day since you started in this game because you're so passionate about it and you're so proud of what you're achieving, you don't actually see it as work. Well, he's probably 100% he's probably right. I don't see it as work, I see it as a huge honour to help people love what I love and to go out and either win championships or go cruising with their wife to have a lovely latte at a cafe 200 kilometres from home or 1,000 kilometres from home. That's where the value is in the brand. So the Grand Prix gives you a goalpost or a target to work towards. Um, it's like a motocross champion wanting to be the guy that's first over the line. Well, as uh, and I'm an ex-motocross champion, so I know what that's like. And I, and I say to my team, we don't have to lead for every lap, but we do have to be at the front with our customer at the end. So by being at the Grand Prix, Jeremy's desire to succeed has not just been Jeremy. Our whole staff of seven techs in the workshop and our service manager uh, and our parts guys have all been working with Jeremy so that we've been throwing things at him and he's been helping and he's been training with it. But it's a whole team effort. And Jeremy being here is, a, um, is like a pinnacle of what we're trying to achieve at work, which is give valued service. This is a Tech GP. This is like Valentino Rossi riding up to the start line and wanting to win. There is no second place. There's wanting to be the best. So striving to give the best service comes from having the best technicians. Because with motorcyclists, we don't just ride motorcycles. We love, breathe, eat, sleep. That's what a motorcyclist is, which is why if two motorcycles pulled up in the car park out here and there's 50 cars, the 50 car people would get out and walk to the restaurant, the two motorcyclists would spot each other and walk across and go, hey, here are you, where you come from? What's happening? How's your bike going? Whoa, where'd you get that? Because they're motorcyclists. And it doesn't matter whether you're a lawyer, accountant, tree trimmer, an apprentice mechanic, you all talk about it because you live and breathe it. That's the difference with the motorcycles. The reason being is because the networking that he's able to do here to learn not only in the Tech GP, um, and I'm not, I don't want to undermine the fact that he's done a test and then he does eight different um, uh, job tasks, you know, like he does those eight different tasks, that is incredibly important. It's the meeting of all those other guys and the camaraderie of that and the sharing of ideas um, and with 
you know, guys like Phil and, and all the different staff members in these kind of forums, once the, once the actual officialdom stops, that is the real value that those guys learn because you share all sorts of other things about how to stimulate and motivate the market, how to fix issues or solve problems um, and come up with solutions. So the value that we, in dollar terms, lose in four days we believe we earn that tenfold in the next 12 months because you solve things easier and because of the belief that you get out of being at it. So we see it as an investment. It's an investment in the future for all of us because we didn't have a tech GP. How do we ever gauge what level our technicians are at? How are we ever going to know if they're at this level or this level? Oh yep, they're a technician. They qualified oh, 15 years ago. How do we know that they're capable of working on our new model MT09 or our new R1 or our whatever? If we don't have these things, there is no uh, level to lift to. Well, Tech GP is as valuable as Valentino Rossi winning a race. It is incredibly important. It is the future of what we do. So investment wise, yeah, it's well worth having. Money in the bank, I think. Money.